Hello and welcome to my channel. So today we are doing an eye off. It's not a, a head off. It's not head to head. It's eye to eye. And we are going to see how Retro Love, a $10 palette, yes ma'ams and gents, a $10 palette, how does it stand up to the Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is a much, much pricier palette? What do you think I think? Which one may have outperformed the other? Did I like it? Did the colors semi-match? Did they match? I don't know. But I will tell you, Bad Habit is on my left side, your right side, and Anastasia Beverly Hills is on my right side, your left side, looking at the screen. So, if you want to see A, how I compare these two, you can stay tuned. If you want to see how I created this eye look, stay tuned a little okay, longer. Okay, so I'm excited about today's video because everyone really was excited about this subculture palette, and then the performance was less than acceptable. <clears throat> but the colors were beautiful. That's what got everyone excited. So, on Hush, the little, I've got a little icon called Hush on my phone. They have one called Bad Habit Retro Love. And so, I'm really curious because again, I bought the palette for the colors, not the name, and was highly disappointed. So, I'm gonna put these side by side. You can see that the colors are the same. Retro Love is in different spots than the original subculture. So, you know, you've got the same colors, they're just in different areas. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do one side in subculture, and hopefully I won't be grouchy, and the other side in the Retro Love, and hopefully Retro Love will make me very, very happy. So, because again, love the colors, did not like, the fallout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tape up my eyes. <clears throat> and the reason why I'm taping up my eyes is because the subculture had like the craziest fallout and was just disappointing on so many levels. So I am going to place tape everywhere. Do not judge. Just understand. That's what I got to do. So I don't want like a heck of a lot of fallout. I don't want to fix a bunch of my makeup after the fact, because as you can see, I already have my base and bronzer, blush, etc. And I don't want to do a patch kit today. I'm just not in the mood to patch it. In all fairness, I'm going to go ahead and just do this side unless I see the fallout is crazy and then I'll add more. From bad habit but we're gonna do Anastasia on the right side and bad habit on the left I don't know that I'm gonna do like a crazy look today I think I'm just gonna kind of have I don't know what I'm gonna have let's be honest I always come in and have no clue what I'm gonna do and then I just play so we're gonna just play so we're gonna start out with the color dawn and I mean the fallout on this it still makes me so irritated. I know I should be over it by now, right? Everyone else is. We're gonna go into the color Mercury and it just like falls. That's just insane to me. I know, you guys have already heard it all, right? You're like, we don't need to go back, Amy. Let's just go forward. Do you have a dupe or don't you? Which I love that taupey color. So pretty. I was watching a video from Sherry Ward this morning and she's an absolute doll. She's like, you know, people need to blend more. Probably not the way she said it. She's super sweet. That was my interpretation in Amy speak. And she's right. I've gotten away from blending. We're gonna pick up some Rowdy. Whoa, I forgot the pigmentation on these bad boys. I'm picking back up the color I use for Mercury. Blend those two together. Again, these colors are so pretty. That's why it's depressing. I know, I know, I said I'd shut up. I'm trying to decide if I want to do Adorn or Cube, because I really like the Cube color. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a flat brush. We're gonna, I can't remember how Cube did, if it irritated me or not. 
we're gonna see. Okay, Cube did great. I'm gonna pick back up Cube on that little flat brush, which I really like it because it's kind of like a peachy look. Even though it looks like it's white in the pan, it just picks up a really peachy iridescence. And I love me some peach. So underneath, I think for fun, I'm gonna pick up this Untamed. And see, that looks so pretty. Why does this palette have, nah. I said I wasn't gonna say nothing. And I keep saying something. Dun, dun, dun. Retro love, what are you gonna do for me? Let's see. On a brush, we are gonna pick up the color, this one is called Peace. Looks like we have some fallout. Not detrimentally. Color match seems to be pretty good. All right, we're gonna go in with Pop. Has some fallout. This color I think I'm gonna have to build up a bit. Where the Anastasia one went on pretty strong. So the pigmentation might be slightly less in this one. And you can see kind of the fallout on that. And I'll compare, we'll dip our brush into both of them so you, next to each other so you can see what happens in the pan on both of them. And that way that'll give you kind of a better understanding of what the comparison is. We're gonna pick up Nostalgia next. Not as much fallout in the pan as, say, the pop. You're still gonna wanna tap your brush. Again, not as pigmented, but I actually kinda like that better. Um, this seems to be more user-friendly, and we like user-friendly. And the tape comes off. Now, they're similar in the pan, but as they go on the eye, they're not as similar. This seems to have more green tones, where this seems to have more brown tones. And the brown tones is actually what I thought we were gonna get from this side. You know, the purple color. This one ended up, the purple ended up rowdy, ended up a little more greenish tone, so that's interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up um, Mod, which is, oh no, I'm not. I'm gonna pick up Psychedelic. Okay, again, not a whole lot of fallout compar comparatively speaking. Ooh, but much more, much more pizzazz in that one. Go psychedelic. Okay, so the one in the Anastasia Beverly Hills called Cube is a little bit more peachy pink. This color here, psychedelic, is a little bit more white. So I do kind of like the Cube better. I don't know. Depends, I guess, on the look. Okay, let's pick up the color mod which is supposed to replicate untamed and those are almost an exact match there so far i do like retro love better just because i'm not having the fallout problem now they're close enough in color that i think they're still very pretty and for fun, I'm gonna take some Marc Jacobs and that's gonna go on my inner waterline. Okay, so I'm gonna probably apply some false lashes and then I am going to take down these curlers and we'll see what I come up with. All right, I forgot some. how um, hot rollers can make your hair big and I love my hair big. All right, so I did not put on false eyelashes. Now let's do a swatch test with brushes in both of them. So we're gonna see how that works. I'm gonna use the same brush, kind of dabbing in each of these. And then I'm blowing off so we start fresh. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see if I can't figure out how to hold these so we're not driving everyone crazy. I'm gonna go back in with my Anastasia brushes that I used. So, Mercury was one of my favorite colors here. And when you tap it, it just falls apart. So hopefully you could see how, I'll tap on the front, how that just falls and collects down in the pan. 
Now I'm gonna take one of the brushes I used and we're gonna do the same tapping. The fallout just isn't there. Yes, there is fallout, but not to that degree. So for that reason alone, I already like the dupe better. Um, I did go into some, did I use fudge or no? Let's, let's just tap fudge. So fudge isn't as bad as the other one, but you can still see lots of fallout there. Now we'll go into youth and do the same, hell I'm beating it. Um, so if you can see, this one looks like I've used it a ton. I kind of beat it more on this side and it, by beating it, I have some fallout, but the pan doesn't look like it's been used a bunch. <sighs> so, all right, let's pick another color, shall we? Um, let's try to pick Roxy. All right, so we got Roxy. And then, knock that off. And then we have Flower Power. So again, we got a lot of fallout collecting right here. I did beat this one probably a little harder. Um, it does have some fallout, but again, not like that. This looks like the pan's been used a lot. This one does not. So overall, um, now I'm happy because while I love these colors, I hated the fallout. I hated how quick it was going down to, you know, like I had used it a bunch and I hadn't. So, Retro Love, oh my gosh. The colors are pretty close overall um, as far as when they went on my eyes. I think for, for the most part, I could go into the world and no one would know that I have two different palettes on my eyes. This one, it ended up being a little more brown than this side, but again, unless you really have a, a super eye, you're not gonna know that this one is a dupe over that one. So that part is really good. I'm actually very excited now because I, I will use Retro Love where I've just had the Subculture palette kind of sitting there after I used it. What do I like better about the Subculture palette? So the Subculture palette has that really nice velvety feel. It is a little more thicker. It isn't as long, but I just, it. what I like about it is that velvety feel. It just feels luxe. It feels amazing. Retro Love is, you know, kind of a little bit more of a standard package, but you're looking at $10, I believe, versus, y'all know how much you paid for these. You could have had several of these for what you paid for this. This one will last you a lot longer than this one, I can promise you. So anyways, um, you know, yes, this packaging isn't as luxe, but to be honest with you, I need a product that performs. I don't need one that looks pretty on the outside and then doesn't perform well. So I got these from Hush and Bad Habit Retro Love, you get a perfect 10 from me. and. I, I, I love it. So anyways, if you wanna see how I created this duplicate eye look, thank you so Stay much tuned. for joining my channel today. I really appreciate you watching the head to head, eye to eye, eye to eye battle between the Bad Habit palette and the Subculture palette. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And don't forget to hit the bell. You wanna know when I have these crazy videos coming back up, don't you? And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.